19 years ago, Jack, the world was going to end. All the computers were going to shut down. There was going to be chaos in the streets. Do you remember Y2K? I remember Y2K. I thought it was ridiculous then. Can you believe it's been 19 years? What were you doing? Who would have thought we're still here? <laughs> yeah, I thought we'd all be dead and buried. Well, back in 1999, I specifically remember that night, I was bartending. I got off work at 11.45. I lived five minutes from my job. I got home. It was 11.55. I turned the TV on, and I remember saying, people were actually think in five minutes the world's going to end. <laughs> wow. That is interesting. You know why? Because I worked at a bar as well. Yeah. But I was uh, the chef at a bar restaurant. Oh, it's wow. It's so funny. Y2K, that night, we were both at bars. Yeah, I was bartending, and uh, I remember I I was getting ready. I literally, literally just got home, had the TV on. I was going to watch the ball drop up down in New York, and uh, I got a Pepsi. I remember I, I had a Pepsi, and I had some... Uh, uh, some vodka and oh, I razzmatazz. That's what I mixed razzmatazz with Pepsi that night. That was I was celebrating New Year's plus my birthday. Yeah. So I had a razzmatazz Pepsi drink and I was like, I did not fear the end of the world at all. I'll tell you that. You did not. You weren't no. scared a little bit. No, I was happy. I was like, hey, 2000. It's a whole well, new uh, century. Well, a lot of people were freaked out. I remember people were storing up food. People were storing up water. Uh, I did not. I did not store up any food or water, but I did get some extra ammo for my guns, oh. <laughs> which yeah. I think I still have that ammo. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know if it's any good. but It don't work. It's expired. But, yeah, you could break uh, into my house, and my ammo doesn't work. You have like a gun from like Looney Tunes. Yeah. <laughs> a little sound effect will go above the gun. Bang. Oops. Yeah, so what no did they... Bang. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I don't. I don't think it works. What... Did they think was going to happen? Y2K. Y2K was all based off of uh, computers. They were scared that computer programs were not programmed to recognize the year 2000. Right. So, <laughs> so all the bank systems and would fail and the infrastructures of uh, the companies, um, computer systems would be obsolete and everything would crash. Well, and they were worried about stock market crashing and they were worried about uh, computers just shutting down. Well, you got to remember, uh, this is 19 years ago. We didn't have the internet wasn't as pro, uh, strong. It wasn't as it was slow. It was I remember slow. going to a buddy's house. I didn't have internet. A lot of people didn't. If you wanted to go online 19 years ago, you went to the library, or you had the 9.99 a month, or if you paid near 10 bucks for your cheap dial-up, right? Through which the was telephone. slow because I remember if you wanted to. Look at, uh, I'm, the only thing it was good for, like my friend had internet, right. I would do uh, fantasy sports. Back then, it was even popular. And you could see data was pretty quick. Right. For like charts and numbers. It was good. Computer was good for business. Model. The business model was Banks what they were. Yeah, it. it was a business model aspect of uh, uh, internet. So, right. But with high speed now, you can watch videos. Like, can you imagine not being able to watch a video? Like it, I remember sitting there, and my buddy's like, he was into um, racing. So he was showing me pictures of this race with Del Earnhardt and stuff, who's passed away since. Sure. But I remember he was pulling up these pictures of these race cars, and I remember watching the picture just, it took like two minutes for the picture to load up. Because right. you remember when the pictures, it'd be like, it'd go from left to right, and you'd see a little bit of the picture, yeah. and, it, and it took a few minutes until it was done. Right. Yeah, that was pretty neat. <laughs> yeah, n nobody would have patience for that now. I was like, all right. I, I remember sitting there waiting for this picture to pop up. He's like, check this out. I was like, oh, it's Del Earnhardt, okay? But it was, <laughs> it was cool because it was new to us. Yeah, it was cool. And we'd sit there because, like, oh, this is cool. Well, they had cell phones, but they were actually cell phones. They were cellular technology. Oh, and they lost calls the signal, all the time the signal was terrible there was hardly any towers cell phones weren't good back then i had one it was horrible i mean it was still the age uh i liked my pager back then that's what i'm saying they had we called them beeper stores yeah you got your pager boom you're you blowing up they say you're blowing up your beep your pager's blown so then you stop 
you stop at a gas station or there was like telephones all over the place. Pop in your dime. All right, hey, didn't it? A minute goes by, you're popping another dime. Hey, all right, all right. Yeah, that was it. You got a phone number, so and you had to find a phone. Yeah, that was the page. Yeah, you got to go find a phone. So, uh, and they had pager stores, like they have yep. Apple stores now and Sprint stores. People used to hang out in them. Yeah. So big social thing. Gathering at hey, the pager Hey, look at my store. pager. And you, uh, the running joke was you were either a doctor or a drug dealer. Yeah. If you had a pager. I remember I was in the fire department. This was even before that. This is when I was in high school. I had a pager. People thought I was a pimp. Some kid asked me if I was a pimp. This is when I was a teenager. You a pimp. You got a pager. And I had my pager in high school. You weren't allowed to have it. But since I was in the fire department, I was allowed to have one. Right. An exception. So. Very nice. Because I was allowed to leave school. I was. If you're in the fire department as a teenager, if you like getting out of school for any reason, if there's a fire or an accident, boom, you can get out of school. So, well, so, which I did one time. So the fear was helping the community, the computers, and that's great. My hats off to you, Jack, for helping the community. The uh, computers, the old computers, wouldn't be able to go from one nine 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 the two o to two o o o. I mean, that sounds silly now. And they had companies that sprung up real quick. Oh, we'll come into your office and we'll put a quote unquote patch. Yeah, we'll put a patch. Up. So all these people were making millions of dollars yeah. going into companies. They probably weren't doing anything at all. Or doing nothing. Like these people were. They probably said it and just all right, give me a million dollars. I mean, all it is is code. That's what people have been coding since the '60s, '70s, like when computers started. So yeah, and I'm telling you, they computers started way back then in the '50s. So people have been working with coding for years like oh absolutely. i'm like i don't know how to code but i know what coding is if i could probably learn how to do it. it's just ones and o's and be out there computer coding is all ones and zeros and however you configure your ones and zeros it gives you a function and then you can actually set roles for those ones and zeros that's what computering is that's what yeah that's basically. pretty much what it is so i was um at cooking you know it was almost midnight so nobody we have a few people at the bar you know because it was new year's but i think a lot of people stayed home that year i was pretty well lit by midnight i was still smoking back then i was sitting standing at the bar drinking rum and coke and probably chain smoking cigarettes and watching it all happen and you know, five minutes went by, ten minutes went by. The world, you know, there was there was no riots in the street. Nothing really happened. So it just kind of passed without any. I don't think I went out that night. Like I was tired. I worked. I was working two jobs. So I remember I worked. Yeah, that day I worked all. I was up at four a.m. Went to work. Then I worked at five in the afternoon till eleven thirty as a bartender. And I was tired. I got home, drank my Pepsi, and uh, um, I can't remember what I said. <laughs> Raspberry. What did I say? Yeah, something like that. Razzmatazz. Razzmatazz. Yeah, Razzmatazz. I was in a Razzmatazz at the time. Uh, because I was, the reason why I was in a Razzmatazz, because I remember, so I don't drink a lot, but that's, I was like 22 back then. Right. Something like that. I was bartending, so I was into drinks and like learning how to drink, and I was learning how to make drinks. And I remember a week earlier, I made somebody a purple hooter, and that's like one of the ingredients for purple hooter. So there you go, pooper. I made my own. I just put it in Pepsi. It tastes pretty good. But a year and a half later, a year and nine months later, an actual large event did happen: nine eleven. Yeah. So I know it didn't shut down the whole world, but. It was definitely is way that a more cue? crazy. Is that a cue that people were trying to say something was going to happen and they didn't mean Y2K? Do you think like people were trying to make us aware? Maybe people knew something was going to happen? Well, remember, um, I know the Aztec thing was 2012, the world was going to end. Yeah, they had all the movies for that too. There was a big uprising about, or not uprising, but there was a big, the big story back then was that in the Bible, Somebody looked in the Bible and they uh, counted the times. Yeah. <clears throat> and 2000, 
was going to be the year like Jesus returned. So there was more oh, than yeah. just computers. Yeah, it was more. There was a lot of fears, and we can get into that. We don't have a lot of time for our show, but there was a lot of fears, a lot of uh, like uh, um, religious fears, a lot of um, doomsday fears. They're like it went from computers, a fear of computers not working, to a list of anything people was scared of occurring. Absolutely. Like, if that's going to happen, maybe this will happen. If that happens, this will lead to this. I better buy a lot of food. I better buy some guns. I better um, better hide in the hills for the night, see what happens. Um, me, I just went to work, and then I had some. I had a drink and celebrated my birthday. So, Man. Which, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, And if it would have happened, crap would have hit the fan. On my birthday, so. Ah, uh, well, that's right. Your birthday so, is December 30th. Yeah, you know, birthdays can't be bad, so I knew nothing was going to happen. Yeah, that's so. a good point. <laughs> well, so here it is. 19 years after Y2K, we're still alive. Next year will be the 20th anniversary. Yeah. Crazy. Another 2 0. Right. <laughs> and I, I still feel the same. I look the same, except I have gray hair. I'm kind of the same person as I was 19 it's, years ago. a little fatter. That's all. A little fatter, a little slower, you know. But see, the whole Y2K thing, it, it, it's a good example of the fears of a few can actually turn into the fears of many. Well, this because is. Because that fear was started by someone. Well, this is a good, because a lot of people are freaked out. Now it's the economy. Yeah. So let me tell everybody before we go, nobody knows the future. You're going to hear a million predictions, and probably zero of them are going to come true. So if you're worried about the economy, you're worried about this and that in your life, it's probably not going to happen. Yeah. And we're living proof. <laughs> yeah. Fear is fear. It's how you deal with it. It's how you respond to it. It's right. uh, being, if you're scared, find someone that you care about and get near them. So. All right, this is Jack. All right, and this is my good show. Uh, just a short one tonight. Y2K. Yep, Y2K Revisited. Paranormal Roads, listen to us. Yep, Paranormal Road Show. All right, bye. Good night, everybody.